We are here at the Second Great Chef Series with Patrick Mulvaney, who owns Mulvaney's B&L in Sacramento, California. So the Robert Mondavi Institute asked Bob and I to come out and do a class and talk about Farm to Fork and the region that we live in. And we thought about Farm to Fork and living high on the hog, being right in the middle of everything that grows in America. But mostly we're excited because you guys are going to make me lunch. So today we have um, 17 participants in the kitchen with Patrick, along with eight UC Davis students who assist. Well, I'm very interested in product development. And so what I hope to learn with Patrick is to mix culinary, because I also like to cook, with my interest in product development. Well, actually, this was a gift. Uh, my wife uh, provided me with the opportunity to come here. Uh, it was a Christmas uh, gift. We have uh, five uh, kids, and uh, I'm the one who does all the cooking. So they asked us, they asked us what what we wanted to do and what we wanted to talk about. I said, well, let's, you know, we, we're in the middle of the richest agricultural region in the world. Sometimes here in Sacramento, we don't think about uh, just, how, just how good we have it. So I think it's fun to work with, with people who are coming in for the class because they're all interested. It's easier for me because I'm not paying them, right? So I'm much nicer uh, than I might otherwise be. I think that uh, it's also intriguing for me because it means that I, I learn. As much as, as much as I teach, as much as you try to give some tips, as much as you try to say, here's a better way to cook at home, here's something that might help you next time you have a dinner party, there's also stuff that I'm learning from them. Why am I doing something that way? How can I do it better? How can I be a better teacher, right? And, and all that stuff does nothing but carry over when I go back to the restaurant. So here's how you tell your temperature on a stove, right? On an oven, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So my hands are probably a little better than yours, right? Because I do this for a living. But if you, so one, so here, holding here, one, two, three, four, five, 350, shake your hand. Touch here. That's what a rare steak feels like. Squeeze your hand. That's a well. So when I want it fluffy, so most times, right, people say, put it, you put your finger, the finger test, right? So just like you do in a rice cooker, put your rice up and put your finger right on top and when the water comes just over your finger, then you can boil it slowly. I don't have a very good attention span and sometimes I miss things, so here's how I do it. I put in lots of water and then boil it rapidly for about five to 10 minutes put a lid on, strain most of the water out, and put it over to set. And so, so everything that we had today came from California, and, and much of it came from really just 10 miles or less from here, from Suzanne growing her greens over in, uh, on the Sacramento River, or Paul growing stuff for us up in uh, Cape Hay Valley. And Caleb Center runs the meat lab here on campus, and he was kind enough to provide us with two pigs. So we got a pig last week and made bacon for everybody, and and cured the, the loins that we had on our asparagus salad today, and then had the fresh pig that everyone came in to see and cook and eat today. Well, you know, a lot of the um, tips that you get from Chef Mulvaney are some of the things that you can't get in the cookbook. So uh, just uh, figuring out from temperature all the way to uh, prepping and then final products. So just getting his expertise, someone who is uh, one of the Sacramento region's culinary geniuses. So Mulvaney's Building and Loan is a 50-seat restaurant in an 1893 firehouse in Midtown Sacramento. And really what we say is that whatever comes in the front door is what goes on the menu. The menu changes every day. We base our food on what the farmers are growing for us and what our customers would like. It's definitely amazing because we get fruits and vegetables the entire year round that we wouldn't necessarily get. Like when I was growing up in Illinois, we couldn't find lemons all year round. And so that's been wonderful. Well, you know, I think a lot of folks take for granted what we have here. As Chef Mulvaney pointed out earlier in his uh, discussion, you don't realize whether it be Napa, Sonoma to the Central Valley and then up through the uh, uh, Sierra uh, Corridor, how much, whether it be uh, livestock to ag to uh, wine, and, wine and food, what we have here. We're in the middle of the richest agricultural region in the world. And what I would hope is that whenever anyone anywhere in the world asks a question about food, that their second question is, what does Sacramento think about it? In the restaurant world, we know that our restaurants are strong. 
UC Davis with its strong agricultural heritage and history, really the leading institution in the world, and now with the Robert Mondavi Institute, with the World Food Center, with all these other pieces coming into place, it just makes it stronger. And interesting because it's not a creation as much as it is a recognition of the things that UC Davis already does so well. And because they're training these people now, it's going to create a better future for everybody.